Hello, everyone. Nicky Hawkins here, West Ham Fan TV, back once again with another opposition preview. Um, mate, thank Brother. you for joining me. Pleasure. Go subscribe to MAH, Mars channel uh, right now. It's close to 100K. Yeah. I've got your little present before Oh, no. <laughs> you don't mind, do you? <laughs> no, you go, you go for it. So, I'm already nervous as it is with this because, fixture. Because you're close to 100K, I thought some of your fans deserve to see something they've never seen before. <laughs> okay? Um, that's the Chelsea centenary from... 1905 to 2005. You 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 would never have seen that before. That was just, why why, that was why, you why was does born. it stop? <laughs> oh, okay, fair, fair. Okay, fair. so that, that's that's Perfect. the years before before you, oh, okay. you you all started supporting them. We, we were we were we were winning. So that exists, this. right? More and then I got you guys. this. I used to play that. Football Manager 2012. So you can relive the glory days because that's the closest you're going to come. What the last long, time we won time. the Champions League? All right. Wow, wow, you're on smoke this early. There we go. What's what's happened? Do you know what? what? I'm very confident. You guys do well I, here. Listen, I despise Chelsea. You know I despise Chelsea. What? Matisse, I love you, but I do I do despise Chelsea. <laughs> I, I blame Chelsea. Do you love that? You, you you're really fascinated by that. I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, right, we're ready. This um, is it. This yeah, I, I, I don't like Chelsea. <laughs> my, my my love for Chelsea is is uh, is well known. I I, I can't stand Chelsea. Um, I blame them for a lot of the downfall of football. To be honest with you, um, a billion and a half spent. What's happening? What's happening is at the moment we are yet to see what we paid for. But but there has been some green shoots in the in the soil in the last couple Cole of Palmer. yeah l last couple of years. You've had Cole Palmer. We've had some nice big results against Man United at home, Tottenham away. So there's been some joy amongst the struggle. And then this season, I said in the roundup that this this game for me is like. If we win this, it becomes a good start. If we lose this, it becomes a bad start. Mm. It's very much on that line, cut and dry. This game defines how we've started the season for me because this is Man City at home. Yes, that didn't go to plan. That can happen. But away at West Ham is a proper test because our record is, is not good at your ground. I'm, I don't remember in the recent times any... I don't remember any fun We've got times. the opposite sort of records, haven't we? Because you yeah. win your, your ground. We, we, we sort of win at our ground. Mm -hmm. um, it was a fun pin last year. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah, you give us a, a good idea when um, when everyone was sort of like down yeah. in tools. But yeah. what do you what do you, what do you expect from this game? What what sort of Chelsea is going to turn up? Because I, I've been looking at your results. One one against Palace, mm. which is poor, very poor. Um, six two against Wolves, turn up there. Then you lost to a napkin. Yep. Um, so, so Serviettes. Yeah, what's yeah. happening? Very, very surprising result. I don't know where that came from. I think this is going to be... It's a London derby, so I'm expecting combat. I'm expecting a battle. And we have started to show a little bit more of that attitude in recent times. Levi Colwell started to get in amongst it. Kukure is good for a little battle as well. We need to win that, first of all. I think we need to get some respect coming into this game because I don't think West Ham are going to show us much respect. I don't mm. think West Ham are going to, you know necessarily worry about us i think they're going to be we're at home we're going to be try and be on the front foot you've got players that i've put you guys in the prediction this season to do very well mm. when you've got kudus you've got bowen you signed some of those really good players well i know it's still coming together it's still coming together yeah it's going to take time to gel but from an individual standpoint you've got some serious individuals so it feels like a very 50 50 game you know the record is not good it feels like something where anything can happen and I just have to hope that we are on the right side of it, and on the, on the receipt, not on the receiving end of anything, anything um, like what I know you're capable of. And mm. I'm just hoping that I think this game is coming at a good time where we are playing you earlier on in the season, where you might not be, you know, fully at it in terms of everything coming together and and be in in sync. Because I think if this team gets in sync with the players that you have, that's where there's going to be a real problem. Yeah, I, I mean, I've se I have seen, I must admit, I, you know, I've been to every game this season and I've seen a, a, a lot of improvement in the way we're playing. Mm. But it's just the gelling, you know what I mean? Like the, the, the game against Fulham, I thought we was poor. Yeah. Um, but we we fought to the end last season. We was conceding four, five, sixes yep. against teams like that. You know what I mean? So um, I've seen a lot of improvement and the managers just sort of starting to get that feel. Mm. Um, and we've got like Danny Ings, Who's all of a sudden? He, he seems to have like had a new lease of life. He's waiting for a chance, and then he's 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 finished that. I can see him starting Saturday, you know. Really? Yeah, I can see him starting. I would actually no disrespect to Danny Ings, but I would prefer Danny Ings starting. What what we struggled with over the You'd recent like years was Antonio. Antonio. Antonio is just I don't know why, but Antonio always <laughs> he's physical. And yeah, he's, yeah. he's a battering ram. And, and our centre-backs are not the strongest. They can be a little bit, you know, flimsy. And he just goes in there and just out-muscles them and causes a whole heap of problems. And we're not good at defending set pieces. We really still need to tighten up on that. We still need to 
find some sort of defensive solidarity even against Bournemouth they had chances where they could have mm. easily we shouldn't should, we should not have won that game we didn't deserve to win that game we got we got fortunate so the less physical because West Ham has always been a physical issue for us as well as much as a technical if you can take out as many of your physical players as possible I'm more than happy for this to be a technical game because I think technically that's where my team is 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 at its best and we can we saw Sancho against Bournemouth last week we saw you know we've seen glimpses from obviously we've had Palmer we've had Madueke little oh, moments do you know what you mentioned these names man and I forget you sign them you're signing so many <laughs> you're collecting them like football stickers. it is a lot I forgot Sancho was there yeah yeah Sancho Felix um, Joe Felix yeah you know in Cuckoo's there comes on gets the winner against Bournemouth Pedro, now, Pedro a, Neto as well I'm going to say in Cuckoo is the player I, I, I picked him as my player to watch last year yeah so unfortunately he had a big injury mm -hmm. I, I, I can see him doing well he said I've actually backed you to get top four thank you I've yeah, backed you to I, finish fifth I know yeah, it's probably did, too yeah. much but I've done a lot <laughs> yeah yeah well, I've backed you to get top four I, I can't say look I know a, a billion and half pounds spent mm. you can't be that bad for that long yeah but the owners are at each other's throats again aren't they? What, what's yeah that well I'm glad that seems to have quietened down over the last week because it's just a massive distraction for the for the for the fans for the team for the manager in press conferences I think he's handled those questions very well it's something that's now gone under the under the read or under the radar now in, in the last week but it's still bubbling and it's still a thing are you a little worried about the, the direction of the club because under Roman, you had mm. a very clear, clear and yeah. obvious path. Yeah. Um, there don't seem to be any rhyme or reason for some of the things that they do. Mm. Um, as you say, they've, they've picked out a couple of gems like Cole Palmer. Cole Palmer nearly came to us. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, he could have quite easily come to us. Same thing that you stepped in last minute mm. um, and he, he came to you. But he's one, been one of the shining stars. Yeah. Are you a bit worried about the direction? It seems to be like... As soon as you get over one issue, yeah, there's that another issue one arises. Yeah, yeah, I am, I am concerned because I feel like we're a bit addicted to chaos and drama and headlines and and the main character syndrome is too much. We need to focus on the football. At the end of the day, the results need to speak for themselves. The recruitment will need to speak for itself on the pitch. Mm -hmm. We need to win games. We need to start winning trophies again. We need to get back into the into the top four. Get back into Champions League. We need to pick up a minimum of one trophy this season. You guys won the Conference mm -hmm. League. Bare minimum is that we have to win that competition. Um, and we just we just need to settle ourselves down. Like there's such an influx of players every summer out outgoing as well, and it's all just very difficult to piece together. And then once something does look like it might come together. They might just go and rip it all up again mm -hmm. and go. So until there's some sort of consistency, some sort of, you know, calmness. And also we see that profiles are actually meshing and there's an understanding and it actually makes sense. And it's not just names because everybody always says to me and, and, I, and we say it to ourselves, we, we, we've got a good team. Mm. Like we go through the names, there's some really good players in there, but it has to actually gel. But that's, the, but that's the problem, isn't it? You know, we're not playing FIFA. Yeah. You know what I mean? We're, we, this is real life. You mm. know, people have to click, people have to settle, people have to, yep. you know, um, get responses from the manager. Mm. But listen, if Stanford Bridge build falls down, we can always build it up with Claro and Blue. Um, what? So it's not an issue. <laughs> Um, I know you don't. Do you like your stadium? <laughs> your one? No, no. There you go. Um, <laughs> I'd rather Stamford. What, what have you made of West Ham this season? Quickly, I know you got to go. <sighs> With West Ham, I think Kilman is a very interesting coup because there was a lot of money. You know, everybody has been looking at him for quite a few years as well, and I'm, I'm I'm impressed with him. I think I think the way that you're going about your business to rebuild that team and become more possession-based and more attack-minded. I know you had a lot of complaints about Moyes. I spoke to a lot of West Ham fans about that previously as well in regards to not actually having the style match the profile. Mm -hmm. I think you're definitely getting closer to that now. Yeah. And I I do want to see the best of Kudus. I do want to see the best of Piquet. I do want to see the best of Somerville because there's no point having these technically sound and gifted players and then not seeing an attacking philosophy and an attack-minded team. So the only thing I'd, I'd question is your striker. I think obviously Falkrog had a really good Euros. If we'd have got um, Duran. If you'd got Duran. This is exactly what I was going to bring up. Great, bro. Duran? <laughs> I don't know. I I didn't know. I'll be honest. I, I saw a small sample size. Great finishing. But you know, sometimes you could get like a super sub or you yeah, get yeah. a player that kind of has a gold, uh, a purple patch or whatever. So more sample size needed for, for maybe people that are not watching him or extensively knowing about what he's doing in, in the you know, Aston Villa mm. um, system and, and backup position. But wow. If you'd got him, that clinical striker up front is still the one thing that you're... I know Ings is, is there as well, but he's obviously getting on. If you had a Duran and he was playing the way he's playing for Villa, but playing for you, for me, that your team would be pretty set. Wan Bissaka, very, imp very impressed yeah, yeah. with him. I think, listen, I know at Man United, you know, he got a lot of criticism, etc. but he's a good defender. And he's, he's, he's actually good on the ball. He's played wing. So yeah, yeah. he's he's technically technically fine to be in that team there. And, and yeah, I think, I think for me... You guys, like I said, I have you fifth. So I've pushed you to like the, the highest of the heights. And I'm thinking that you're going to have a second 
better second half of the season than the first. And also, you're not in Europe for the first time in a yes, long time. Yes, yeah, we're well. not. Yeah, it's so one game a week. So yeah, I've got I've got high hopes for West Ham. I think they're going to be good. I'm worried about Cole Palmer. Mm. I'm going to be honest. I'm worried about him. I, I think he's a magnificent player. Honestly, yeah. I think he's one of the best in the league at the minute. Um, obviously, high accolades last year, Euro final scorer. You know, he's he, he's he hasn't quite got there this season, mm-hmm. but um, he's he's definitely he's still getting, getting loads of assists. Getting just loads not the of goals. assists, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not the goals. We may have Emerson out. So mm, Cresswell former maybe. player. Yeah. yeah. So Emerson scored. Or Wambasaka. Yeah. Emerson caused us problems a few years ago. Yeah. He scored Emerson's a good player, man. Yeah. yeah. Good no, player. He, was, he was a decent player for us. Um, Cresswell, listen, I, I I only know Cresswell for one reason and one reason only, and that's that's what happened in the Europa League semi final. So <laughs> I, if he could do something oh, yeah, like that again. Worry. If you ask, <laughs> we'll be doing a preview with AGT, I'm sure. If you ask um, Liverpool fans about uh, yeah. Aaron Cresswell, they still going on about a tackle that he put in. Oh, really? In 2001. My goodness. Uh, 2021, <laughs> sorry. Mm. Um, yeah. So yeah, for Chris Will, he's not he's not a West Ham player. He's not loved. He's just, he's just basically <laughs> just uh, knocking around, picking up the footballs at half time mm. and stuff. But listen, mate, let's pressure for a result. Then um, yeah. this is going to be a tough one. Uh, you know, I don't oh. like losing to Chelsea, and I know you don't like losing to West Ham. Yeah, no, um, I really don't. And I think this is going to be a very <laughs> tough one. As I said, it's all about what Chelsea turns up. Mm. It is because we're still conceding a lot of chances, and I, I don't know what Chelsea are going to turn up. I'll be honest because Wolves fantastic in the second half, first half very even, tight, and then Bournemouth really poor. West Ham, if we get physical, yeah, I do worry. You worry physically, we're we got a long way to go as a team. Mm. I think we're imbalanced in that way, especially in the midfield. Um, and we have got a lot of physicality, yeah. You know? I am gonna. I'm going to just back my team for a 3 2 win, but I do think there's goals in this game. I really do. I think do there's goals. What? For the content, I'm going to back my team for a 3-2 win. Yeah, lunchtime uh, kickoff as well. But let the best team win. Listen. Brother, thank you. Let's do a... a, a, a <laughs> I, can't, I still can't believe do, you've done this. Let's do some this. content on that, man, because you can put some content on your channel doing a little like glory years. Listen, I, I used to play this. I, the first one I ever played was 2007. Yeah, but... Or, um, yeah. No, but let the best team I can't win. believe that. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, brother. Pleasure. pleasure. Absolute pleasure. Go subscribe thank to you. him right now. Um, one thing left for me to say, come on, you irons. Ah. Oh. <laughs>